Hi, Leroy. Take my tray and dispose of its contents in the Harpo Recycling Center. Hi, Miss Oprah. My name is actually Marcus. I've been working here at Harpo for over 20 years. Yes, Marcus Jenkins. I remember you now. Please take my tray and dispose of its contents in the Harpo Recycling Center. Smith, actually. Marcus Smith. I am the only African American male to work here at Harpo for more than 30 days. I work in corporate. Not here in the cafeteria. So you will not take my tray? No. Actually, I've been meaning to talk to you about the lack of brothers on the team. Here at Harpo. I mean, me and Studman are the only ones left from when the show started. The only black men you let on the show are either minstrels, Aboma types, or black men who have been abused by other black men. That is not true. The other Leroy, the one who mops and takes my tray every day, has been working here at Harpo for years. I love Leroy. You know, he was abused by his father, a black man, when he was a child. Exactly. It's harder to work for you as a black man than it is to work for Sarah Palin. At least she doesn't look my grandmother while she is spitting in my face. And what was that BS with Tyler Perry crying all over the air about his abusive father? Have you ever interviewed a normal black man who does what he's supposed to? Supports his community? Stands up for himself? And was not abused by another black man? I am just saying there are more white women around here than at a Celine Dion concert and you are one of three black women on staff who is not frying chicken and slicing watermelon. The average black staffer lasts two to four weeks. The white workers have opened bets on how many days new black employees will last. It's easier for a black man to survive the streets of Southside Chicago than Harpo Studios. Well, I've never. Yes, you did. You loved a black man that one time. In the color purple. I need you to bust my tray. This bitch. Susie, call security please. Leroy has forgotten his mop. And his place again.